In recent years, locals near the Euphrates River have reported hearing strange noises emanating from its depths. These sounds, often described as eerie and otherworldly, have sparked curiosity and concern among the communities. Some speculate that these noises could be due to geological shifts or underwater currents, while others believe they might have a more mystical or supernatural origin. The phenomenon has attracted researchers and adventurers alike, eager to uncover the truth behind the mystery of the river's haunting melodies. Despite various theories, the source of the noises remains elusive, leaving the communities with more questions than answers. Strange Noises from the Euphrates River Strange noises emanating from the Euphrates River have now appeared, and a camera has even captured these diabolical sounds. Are they actual, though? According to the Bible, these sounds come from the interior of the earth, where four fallen angels are imprisoned and just waiting to be released. Could these terrible sounds be their cries resounding from below? So, make sure you subscribe one second before I respond to those questions, so we may distribute this message to the whole planet. You might thus say that you were present before our one million subscribers hit. Let us now address that. Particularly in respect to prophecies recorded in the book of Revelation, the Euphrates River is a significant biblical and historical character. People in various nations, especially the Czech Republic, Poland, and Romania, have lately heard unusual sounds. These seem to pretend something sinister, even as others question whether these sounds are explosions or fireworks. Under the Euphrates River in Iraq, Everyone who hears a frightening scream simultaneously gets shivers down their spines. What strange noises might they indicate? Could this perhaps be a sign of Christ's approaching return, providing hope in these turbulent years? Here is where things get startling, though. These accounts of identical noises coming from all around the globe help to further the enigma about these celestial events outside of Europe. Some people see these noises as signals of approaching calamities, while others consider them as messages of hope and redemption. Thinking back on Jesus' words in Revelation chapter 21, verse 6, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, it is crucial. While similar disturbing noises have perplexed bystanders around Europe, some in North America have claimed to have heard a low, constant hum penetrating the sky. As the Euphrates River recedes, Iraq has discovered ancient structures and a mystery cave, but disturbing customs claim that based on old beliefs, this cave causes unusual and most likely demonic noises. God's anger confined the demons under the Euphrates. The river's drying out marks their expected return, or a possible cosmic change between good and evil. Should these beasts be freed, the resulting anarchy and destruction might be catastrophic. One video that supports the theory that the sounds might be the screams of four fallen angels is already making the rounds. We still lack clear proof, though, and this should be remembered. The Bible claims that four angels are still imprisoned at the Euphrates. When God releases them, they will lead an army of 200 million horsemen and force a third of mankind to die. Nature of these horsemen is yet unknown. They might be creatures very advanced technology, or something totally different. Chapter 9, lines 14 through 15, details the sixth angel blowing the trumpet. To release these angels who will finally bring death over a designated length of time. The Bible also details other creatures imprisoned in the bottomless pit, which will be freed during the last days. Revelation chapter 9 verse 1 says an angel will get the key to open the pit, releasing locust-like animals with scorpion power. Examining the similarities and differences between the strange noises reported in Europe and those close to the Euphrates River reveals that the Euphrates sound is somewhat rare. On the other hand, the sounds encountered in Europe are scattered over several nations. Cultural background changes as well. Whereas the Euphrates sounds have strong links to biblical prophecy and Middle Eastern culture, the European sounds are less religiously connected and often linked to ideas of the paranormal or alien. Exist any first signs of the end times right now? Here is where things start to veer curiously. Scripture foretells in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, and 2 Timothy chapter 3, lines 1 to 9, erroneous teachings and hazardous times. Rebuilding the Jewish temple in Jerusalem, heightened anti-Israel feeling, and among the most obvious signs of the end times 
are initiatives toward a one global government. Still, the most significant evidence is Israel's creation as a sovereign state in 1948, realizing God's promise to Abraham and Ezekiel's vision of Israel's rebirth. While we wait for confirmation of the end of the world, we should stay wary and vigilant and refrain from basing our evidence on single events. Knowing God the Father is like negotiating a huge ocean. You discover more riches the deeper you travel. According to John chapter 14, verse 26, the three persons that form one God are the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Guide of the will of the Son and Spirit, the Father is the functional head of the Trinity. Scripture describes Him as both male and female as well as kind, commanding, and parentally minded. Strange sound reports abound from all throughout the globe, including North St. Louis County, Southern Michigan, and the Philippines particularly considering they seem to emanate from the heavens with no obvious source, these disturbing noises are confusing many. Reports reportedly describe terrible screams close to the Euphrates River, and as the noise subsided, something huge emerged. These are natural events or something else more enigmatic? Though their source is unknown, videos from the Philippines reveal what seem to be trumpets reverberating over the atmosphere. It cannot be explained even by expert telescope astronomers. According to scientists, the Earth is continuously generating odd noises. Many believe these sounds, like trumpets signaling the arrival of a significant event, have connection to biblical predictions. Seven trumpets played by seven angels signal the end of the world and God's wrath, as the book of Revelation notes. Legend has it that the first trumpet will kill one-third of the trees and all of the green grass by releasing hail and blazing blood falling from the heavens. More disaster and diseases strike earth as the trumpets sound. Now who is likely to hear the loud sounds? John heard the trumpets when Christ showed him them, but nonetheless. Hard evidence proving every one of us heard exists nowhere on earth. Them all during the Philippine events. Many people have claimed to have heard unusual sounds that imply God is trying to communicate to all of us. These unnerving, enigmatic sounds appeal to both believers and critics. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation, it is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus. They remind us that the universe hides many more secrets than we could possibly imagine. Religious groups are stopping and thinking deeply as sounds mimic the biblical trumpets. Some consider them as a divine communication, a wake-up call for humanity to identify the indicators of the end times. Are we so focused on the disarray and deviations of our daily lives to pay attention to a warning from God? When we are consumed with worldly concerns, social media buzz, and constant updates, we overlook the changes we need to make. Deciphering the meaning of these unusual sounds presents more of a challenge than just hearing them. It is easy to miss the gently strong signals urging us to consider and confess our behavior. Are they only quirky curiosity or something significantly more important? Along with warnings that God has previously delivered to us, the Bible offers whole narratives of the events these trumpets depict. These seven trumpets transcend mere symbolism. Every more horrible than the last, they are warnings of approaching global tragedies. Everybody should be aware of the results of our decisions and the routes we follow. Following the right step still gives hope for atonement. Now let's look at the eerie screams around the Euphrates River and look at any possible link to these end times trumpet sounds. Some believe the sounds emanating from under the drying river are four fallen angels lamenting. Though there is little evidence to support this view, the Bible does show that four angels are indeed imprisoned at the Euphrates. Two hundred million horsemen will die after they are let loose, wreaking havoc and killing one-third of all humans. The prophecy makes it evident that this event is about to occur. The sixth angel, carrying a trumpet, will get the order to release the four angels imprisoned at the great Euphrates, reveals chapter 9, lines 14 to 15. Is something quite amazing about to happen? Over the course of a year, a day, and a month, once liberated, these four angels delivered death to one-third of mankind. The inevitable moment is this one. The Bible describes other creatures imprisoned in a bottomless pit. In the final days, a fallen angel or another being will open this pit at a predetermined time and place to release these beings. Revelation 9 
One explains, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star descend from heaven to earth. The angel receives the key to the bottomless pit. According to Revelation 9, 3, locusts emerge from the smoke with power akin to scorpions on earth. These creatures, which resemble scorpions, are released to wreak havoc, possibly indicating that the bottomless pit might be an actual location on earth or a portal to another dimension. Revelation Chapter 9 verse 1 describes an angel descending to earth and opening this pit, unleashing creatures that may already dwell here, though this is uncertain. Genesis suggests that the giants and hybrid beings, descended from fallen angels and humans, might return to earth in the final days. These prophecies, real or fictitious, signal a time of great turmoil and serve as a warning that the Bible's final days are rapidly approaching. The trumpet judgment sound reportedly comes from the Philippines, while the Euphrates River is believed to be the source of the four fallen angels' cries. Experts predict that the Euphrates, which originates in Turkey and flows through Syria and Iraq, will dry up, signaling the start of significant events. In the Philippines, locals report hearing an old trumpet sound that seems to come from above, captured on camera. This leads to a discussion on how to understand and interpret the trumpet noises and angelic cries. In the Philippines, the trumpet sounds are often attributed to natural scientific phenomena, such as weather patterns or chemical reactions. However, the cries from the four fallen angels carry significant religious weight, linked to biblical prophecies about the end of the world. Both events, though interpreted differently, hint at the impending end of the world. Jesus provides us with several important clues for recognizing the imminent arrival of the end times in Matthew 24, 5, 7. Many will come in my name, claiming, I am the Christ, and they will lead many people astray. There will be earthquakes and famine everywhere. Signs of the end times include the rise of false messiahs, conflicts, famines, plagues, and natural calamities. Although these signs may indicate the arrival of the last days, they don't always mean that the end of the world is imminent. Some interpreters point to every earthquake, political unrest, and attack on Israel as evidence that the end of the world is near. The demonic noises coming from the Euphrates River act as a wake-up call, drawing our attention to the spiritual realities occurring all around us, along with other significant signs. As we come to an end, Let's cling to the consoling truth that Jesus is always with us, even during these trying times. Jesus described the indications pointing us toward His second coming in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. A prominent indicator is an increase in lawlessness, where moral boundaries break down and chaos reigns. If you've made it this far in the video, I have a special gift for you. Do you want early access to our most exclusive content? We have a community just for you with hundreds of people already inside, and you could be the next one. Plus, you'll get a really cool badge beside your name to show your dedication. If you want to learn more, click on the link on the left of the screen or the link in the pinned comment. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the video on your screen.